swag, 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 swag. Back in this Hey, you already know what it is, man. It's your boy Laid Back. Back in here with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, look, man. This is what we all been waiting for. The Russ diss track. I'm going to keep it a band with y'all. I haven't even watched the rest of the episode. I got to where they was talking about the rap longest best runs or some shit. And I was like, yo, fuck that shit. I want to hear the song. I want to react to this shit. I want to put this shit out. So look, if you haven't heard this song, it's called Think Twice, man. Russ put it out at this moment, 23 hours ago. And I got to say, I had to go listen to it over and over and over again. On the track, he said this joint going to get over a billion streams. I believe it because this joint is hard. It's produced by Scott Storch. And he first come off going at Joe Button. Yo, he went straight for Joe Button. I don't even know why he went for Joe. Well, I, I know why he went for Joe because Joe said something. But he ain't go at academics. He ain't go at Nadeska to my interpretation. Y'all can let me know if y'all think it was some subliminal stuff going on in there. Pew, 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 pew. Some subliminal shots. Pew. You know what I'm saying? But he actually came back with a diss track less than 48 hours. So you got to respect Russ for that. And even, even Joe was like, yo, man, I got to salute him on that. He was like, I'm not going to respond. Look, y'all let me know in the comments below. Do you think he should respond, though? Do you think Joe Budden should send Russ at least a hot 16? You know what I'm saying? Like a fresh hot 16. Or you think he should just, he passed the point where he need to respond to people like that. But we already know, man, the internet about to eat this up. You know what I mean? So I need y'all to like this video, subscribe, all that good stuff. So check this out. Russ, if y'all didn't know, like last Friday, Russ had um came on Everyday Struggle, and you know he had a bone to pick with Nadeska. So they was talking about you know the whole email thing. If you don't know by now, check my video, um my, one of my recent videos. It got like over twenty thousand views. You can check that out where I break it down on on that episode. But so from there, you can tell it's been lingering throughout the whole week on the show. You know what I'm saying? So basically. Joe has been, you know, responding. The desk has been responding. And so Russ responded with a diss track. And the beat hard. What he said was dope. The song is dope. So make sure y'all check that out. I'm going to try to put that the, uh, the link in the bio. Or oh, damn, link in the bio. This ain't Instagram. Link in the description. My bad, y'all. And so, yeah. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to this, too. So also during this episode, they had the rap fantasy draft. I'm going to give y'all my draft picks that I picked for the rap fantasy draft you can only pick 15 dollars worth of artists so y'all list the people in the comments who y'all pick and i'm gonna tell y'all who i picked and why i picked them so for five dollars i gotta go with drake you got to go with drake he's the biggest hit machine out he been on billboard for the longest of course he just you know not on that no more but he was on the billboard for the longest stretch ever he's a hit machine and you know he's a numbers machine as well so he's gonna put up crazy numbers for you so for $4, I went with Future. Man, Future just got hits after hits after hits. You know, he's a mass producer. He just gonna keep on putting out music at, at a high quality and people gonna fuck with it. And Future, what I checked was getting over 100,000 a show. So you gotta put that into consideration. $3, I'm going with Lil Wayne. You know, Lil Wayne can do it all. And he's very creative to where he can reinvent himself and keep making bangers. So I gotta go with Lil Wayne. Two dollars. I'm going with Wiz Khalifa. You gonna give me Wiz Khalifa for two dollars? He gonna make my team millions of dollars. Smart businessman, dope music, and the weed smoke. If y'all haven't tried that KK, that's all I'm gonna say. And number one for one dollar, I'm going with Logic. I fuck with Logic music. I like how he presents his music. I like how he rap. Definitely a dope rapper. And I like his beat selection. His beat selection is be stupid crazy. And he's a very creative type of dude. So I, I you know, that's why. I, that would be my whole squad. So I'm going with Drake, Future, Lil Wayne, Wiz, and Logic. Y'all drop me below, man. Which, who y'all going with? What's y'all squad? And I'll put my squad against any of y'all squad. I'm pretty sure we'll probably win. Hey! But anyway, look. It's your boy Laid Back. I ain't, let me go back and watch the rest of this episode. I just had to get this out for y'all. Look, I appreciate y'all. The new subscribers, go ahead and subscribe. The people that's just watching for the first time, hit the like button, dislike button. Like I said, just hit a button. And uh, salute to everybody out here. It's laid back, self-love, positivity, man. I'm out. Hey.